Reading is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 26th Chapter, Text Number 41, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January 16, 1974, in Bombay, India. By the interaction of fire and the visual sensation, the subtle element taste evolves under a superior arrangement. From taste, water is produced, and the tongue which perceives, which perceives taste is also manifested. Rupa Matsa Dikudvana Tejasu Deva Chodita Rasamatsam Ahut Tasma Ambhu Jiva Rasagraha <coughs> well, how water is manufactured, uh, that is explained here. The modern scientists, they speak of manufacturing water by combination of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. Maybe true to a certain extent, but from Vedic literature we understand that uh, by the interaction of form and touch uh, through the agency of fire, maybe there is perspiration, uh, just like when our body becomes too much heated, there is perspiration the water comes out. Similarly, the same process, uh, we get the water, ambha. And as soon as there is water, there is juha, the sense of touch, rasagraha, uh, which can taste. Jiva is meant for tasting. So this is the we are physical manifestation of different ways. But on the background there is dvaiva Everything is coming into existence on account of superior management or superior uh, impairing. That is the main proposition that Maya dhaksena prakriti, this thing, we physical transformation in different ways, uh, we experience, that is the phenomenal world, but uh, these things are taking place not automatically, but daiva chodi, uh, by superior intervention, impelled by the superior personality of God. Uh, so as we explained last time, Every action and reaction is being completed by the superior person, Krishna, but he has got so multi energies that he does not require, uh, just like we have to see so many things personally, just like in this management of our institution, uh, sometimes uh, we have to take personal care how this is being managed. Uh, because uh, we have to see there may not be any discrepancies in the service of the Lord. That is our duty. Uh, but entirely, if we depend on Krishna, uh, things will go on. But we have to depend in that way. Uh, he has got such fine machinery. Uh, the first thing is that he is seated in everyone's heart. Sarvasatrahaṁ ridhi sannivishtha. So uh, he can give instruction uh, to perform the respective duties, uh, but provided there is Another thing, personal consideration. The chance is given to the personal living being uh, 
to take this chance, but not misuse your uh, little independence. Chance is given everyone. And Krishna's another business is he does not interfere with the little independence given to the living being. Uh, so he must voluntarily surrender his little independence. Does not Krishna does not force. Krishna desires, he orders that you do this. Sarva Dharman Parityajya Mami Kam Sarangbaja. But he does not interfere with the little independence. That is Krishna's uh, mercy. How he can do that? Krishna is not like us that I give you something and again I ask you to return it. No. Whatever Krishna has given to us, uh, that is permanent. Uh, so he has given us little independence. Uh, because we are part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is fully independent. He does not depend on anyone. But although we have got independence to a certain extent, but under the control of Maya, uh, in the spiritual life there is also Maya. That is called Yoga Maya. And in the material life there is also Maya. That is Paramahamaya, Durga. So uh, we being very little, that's why small children he is given either to the mother for taking care or to the uh, nurse uh, for taking care. The little child must be taken care of either by the mother or an appointed nurse, maid servant. Similarly, we being very teeny, small, fragmental, atomic, part and parcel of Krishna, although we have got all the ingredients of Krishna, still we require protection. Just like the child and the father, the child possesses all the chemical composition of the father's body. Even if the father is diseased, the child inherits the disease also. Uh, this is a fact. Similarly, we have got all the ingredients or qualities of God in us. But in many, very, very small uh, fragmental portions. Uh, therefore, although you have got Krishna's qualities, still we sometimes fall down because it's very, very minute, fragmental. There is chance of being covered by something else. Uh, so we require protection. Uh, therefore, Mahatmanustumam Pratya Dvevi Pakiti Masa. The Mahatma, they are also given protection by Devi Prakriti, Krishna's Maya. Uh, therefore, we chant Hare Krishna, not alone Krishna. Hara, Hara is Krishna's energy. So we first of all take the shelter of Krishna's energy, Devi Maya, uh, Radharani. In Vrindavan, they chant Radha Krishna, Jaradhi, the general addressing is Radhi, like that. So, to take shelter of the Daivi Maya, Mahatmanasya Maang Prārtha Daivi Pradhiti Maasya. If we take shelter of the Daivi Maya, Radharani, then she will give us uh, intelligence in such a way that uh, we can take shelter of Krishna perfectly. The Daimimaya Asrita, as soon as we become under the shelter of Daimimaya, then our business becomes bhajanti ananamanasu, simply serving Krishna, no other business. 
and in the material world, so long we are under the protection of Mahamaya, we have got many things to serve. Bahushakanuntasta the buddhi abhavushayana. When we are under the care of Dvimaya, then our only business is to serve Krishna. That is our original uh, constitutional position. Krishna Das. Uh, as we have several times given this example, the part and parcel of my body, uh, the finger, uh, it is always serving the whole body according to the order. Similarly, as part and parcel of God, Krishna, our only business is to serve Him. Uh, whatever you have got in position, now it is explained by uh, Kapil Dev how things are developing. Everything this evening we are discussing, uh, we hear it is said that jiva, ambho, uh, they are coming out by interaction of touch sensation, the fire. Uh, in this way, everything is uh, emanating. Janmādhasya-yataha, the original soul is Krishna. Aham sarvasya prabhava matta sarvaṁ prabhattate. This is the real science. Everything is coming from Him. So whatever we possess, the physical transformation, the gross body and the subtle mind, intelligence, uh, everything is produced from the original source, Krishna. Uh, so same thing, when it is utilized by clear understanding that everything is emanation from Krishna, everything belongs to Krishna, so let us utilize it for Krishna's service, then we are situated in the Devi Maya. Mahatmanastha Mantrata Devi Prakriti this is Daivi Prakit. And the result is bhajanti ananda manusho. Without any deviation, they are engaged, the devotees are engaged in Krishna's service. That is the perfection of life. And in this life, so long in, we are in material condition, we are practicing how to be engaged in Krishna's service twenty-four hours. Uh, and when it is perfection, tatu tattatu gatva, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, that bhaktamama vijana, if you want to understand Krishna, or if, if anyone wants to understand Krishna perfectly, tattata, in truth, then he has to understand it through bhakti not any other process. Although there are many other processes, different ways. Some so-called philosophers, they say that we can adopt any process, it leads to the same goal. Uh, that's all right. Provided you make progress, then it leads to the same goal. But if you become stuck up with the process only, you do not make progress, then it does not lead to the same goal. Just like one staircase going to the fourth floor. So you cross, say, twenty-five stairs, you are in a certain position. If you cross fifty stairs, you are in a certain position. If you cross uh, sixty stairs, in this way, the final may be hundred stairs. So unless you go to the uh, hundred state, the final position is not attained. Although it is leading to the same goal, uh, that we have to make progress. Uh, from karmakanda, we have to learn uh, uh, what is the actual position of karmakanda, why you are engaged in karmakanda. That is called gyan. Uh, then coming to the 
Jnana-kanda, then you come to the Upasana-kanda. Then Upasana-kanda, when you reach the highest top of Upasana, Upasana-nam-sarvesham, Vishnu-aradhanam-param. When you become Vishnu, when you worship Krishna, Vishnu, that is the perfectional stage. So, mama vartmanu vartanti manusya pārta sarvas. Everyone is going to the same goal, but he has to make further progress. Don't think by karma-kanda we have come to the final stage, or by jnana-kanda we, can, we have come to the final stage, or by upasana-kanda, by worshiping demigods we have come to the final stage. No. Uh, the final stage you can come directly by bhakti, uh, the topmost upasana. Therefore Krishna says directly, bhaktya mama vijanati javanjaschami tattva. Uh, so bhakti process is sravanam, beginning, sravanam kīrtanam Krishna. So we have to hear these uh, subject matters uh, uh, described in Bhagavad-gītā and Śrīmad-bhāgavatam. Uh, then we will understand how Krishna is conducting this phenomenal world uh, that we have to learn by hearing why this Bhagavatam is there. For yad vaśnavānāṁ priya the Vaishnava will enjoy, will learn from Srimad Bhagavatam how Krishna is working in everything. That will enlighten the devotee, that how Krishna is great and by his different energies, how he is working in every field of activities. Nakasyakadyam karanancha vidyate. He is present here. Krishna, he has nothing to do. Natasakajam karanantari. Everything is ready, either automatically or in order to accept service from the devotee, he is uh, assuming that I am dependent on you. If you dress me, then I can be dressed. But actually, that is not the fact. Uh, he is Dressing himself by giving you intelligence. Buddhi yogam dadami tam jinama upriyantite. Those who desire, desire us to serve him, then Krishna gives him intelligence. How to serve him? He does not depend on your service. He is quite self-sufficient. Uh, but uh, he assumes that uh, I am a statue of stone. I cannot dress myself. Please dress me. This is Krishna's mercy, to give you chance. Uh, <coughs> he does not depend on you. Uh, there are many energies. Krishna is worshipped by many, many goddess of course. Lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sebhumanam. So he doesn't require our service. But he agrees. Uh, he is so kind that he agrees to come here uh, to accept our service. Therefore we must be very careful that Krishna has kindly consented to come here to accept our service. Now we may not do something which is not satisfactory to him. That is devotion. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, always awful veneration. Uh, don't think that he is a statue. He is Krishna. Uh, so Krishna is ready to accept our service in so many ways. Uh, either if you cannot establish deity, then you simply hear about him. That is the most important thing. Uh, we do not require to establish temple uh, everywhere. If there is possible to establish temple and serve Krishna properly according to the regulation mentioned in the Shastras, 
or instructed by the spiritual master, that is called vidhi bhakti. Vidhi bhakti. Vidhi bhakti means discharging devotional service under regulative principles. So without vidhi bhakti you cannot jump to the raga bhakti. Raga bhakti is spontaneous. Uh, that does not require any regulative principles. Out of love, out of feeling, anyone wants to serve Krishna. That is called, that is gopis, all the inhabitants of Vrindavan. They did not undergo any regulative principle, but spontaneously they are always ready to serve God, Krishna. That is called Rāgava. Uh, just like to uh, the example, there are examples. Just a, <coughs> a mother, as soon as there is child, baby, she takes care. She takes care. Although she does not go to a school, how to take care of a child, but automatically. Automatically she takes care. Similarly, this automatically serving Krishna, that is called Rāga Bhakti. That is reached by Vidhi Bhakti, by practice. Just like formerly there was marriage, child marriage, a small boy, a small girl, but simply by association, uh, the girl understands how to serve the husband, and the servant also understands how to give protection to the wife. And mostly the life was very uh, pleasing, happy. From the very beginning she knows here is my husband, and he knows here is my wife. Uh, at least we have seen in our India. Uh, there is no question of Separation. There is no question of divorce. The love is there from the very beginning. Uh, the propensity was there, and immediately the object of love is there. A girl has got husband, husband has got a wife. So the love continues spontaneously. Uh, so from the very beginning of our life uh, we should try to understand Krishna consciousness, uh, love Krishna, then automatically it becomes manifest. Uh, that is the instruction of Pallad Maharaj. Kumaro Achare Prakha Dharman Bhagavatanya. Kumaro. Kumaro means up to tenth year, five to tenth year. <coughs> According to somebody opening up to fifteenth year. Anyway, during this period of life, one should learn how to develop this devotional cult. Dharman Bhagavata. Dharma means uh, the laws and the instruction given by God. Dharmantu Sakshat Bhagavat Pranitam. And when that is actually executed directly between uh, transaction between God and the devotee, that is real dharma. Dharmana Bhagavata. There are different types of dharmas, but real dharma is Bhagavad dharma. Uh, what we learn from Srimad Bhagavatam to deal with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan. That is called Bhagavatam. So children should be instructed from the very beginning of their life this Bhagavatam dharma. We are attempting to do that in our Krishna consciousness movement. We have got an institution, Guru Kul, at uh, Dallas, Texas, and they are learning very nicely, just like this child, from the very beginning, he is learning Bhagavatam dharma. He is offering obeisances, he is chanting, he is dancing, 
is offering a flower to the spiritual master and he is offering to the Vaishnavas in his childish way while playing he is becoming accustomed to dharma and bhagavad. This is really bias, human civilization. From the very beginning of life. Because if we want, we can learn like cats and dogs, jumping and eating and sleeping and mating. No, that is not the business of the human life. Paradma therefore says, Kumaravacharit prajna dharmana bhagavatāniha. Why? Why Bhagavad Dharma so important that I have to learn from the beginning of my life? Durlavam manasam janma. Tadapi adhurvam akhadam. This human life is very rarely obtained. Durlavam. Dur means very difficult. Uh, after many, many births, Bhūnāṁ yanvanāṁ ante, this human form, after evolution we have got, durham, which is difficult to have got it. Uh, that why it is important that it is orthodom. Orthodom, orthodom means meaningful or riches or something, wealth. Arthadam, you can achieve Arthadam. So after that Arthadam, although Adhurvam, you can say what is the difference between human life and dog's life. They are all temporary. Why you are giving so much stress on human life? The same business between sleeping, sex life and defense. So why you are giving more importance to the human life? Now, orthodom, yadyapi adhrumam, non-parmayam, it is orthodom. Orthodom means uh, to achieve the goal of your life. Uh, so we should not misuse it. Uh, we should uh, teach our children to become bhagavatam, uh, person bhagavatam, uh, by reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, uh, so we are teaching from the very beginning Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, and they are learning. Uh, that is the way. If you simply learn Srimad Bhagavatam, you get so much knowledge how things are developing, uh, how tongue is developing, how the taste is developing, how touch is developing how fire is working, how heat is working, from the introduction of heat and touch, how things are developed, everything is physical and spiritual, everything is there. So this is Bhagavad Dharma. To study Srimadha Bhagavatam very carefully, everything, every all knowledge is there. Timma Pari Isha. There is no need of reading any other book. Timma parui. In the beginning it is said. Why? Saddha ridi avaruddhate isha. The perfection of life is to understand God. So by reading Srimad Bhagavatam, saddha immediately ridi avaruddhate isha. Uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by simply reading Bhagavatam, he is already there, but immediately he is realized. That is perfection of life. Uh, so, Bhagavat is so powerful that Nittanga Bhagavata Seva. We have to read Srimad Bhagavatam daily and twenty-four hours. That is the Indian. Nittam. Nittam means always. So our members especially, I mean to say those who are inmates, they, and those who are becoming members, ordinary members or patron members, we are giving them both. Please read them carefully. Don't take books that I am member, 
It is my duty to take books and keep it in the armana. No. Read it thoroughly. Nittanga Bhagavata Siva. By regular reading of Srimadhu Bhagavatam, then our this material contamination becomes vanquished. Nasta prayasu. Nasta prayasu avadrishu. Nittanga Bhagavata Siva. As soon as it begins to diminish, then it will diminish uh, finally, and then you will be situated your, in your pure original constitutional position, Krishna consciousness, bhakti uh, yogata, evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogata. By cleansing the heart, we become prasanna mana, very jubilant. Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga. The word, this Bhagavad Dharma also be practiced from the very beginning of life and it should be studied. We have got so many books. One can read whatever already we have got books. One can read for fifty years continually uh, and get <coughs> new enlightenment one after another. <coughs> so, Bhagavat means the complete knowledge, uh, Bhagavat, from Bhagavan. It is called Bhagavat. From Bhagavat Sabda, it is called Bhagavat. So in the association of Bhagavat, devotees, if you read Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Sajatiya Sanikdhasa, Sajatiya, when people thinking in the same way, so that means devotees who are interested in Bhagavad Bhakti, to understand Bhagavan, they should read Srimad Bhagavatam in the association. Uh, we should have regular classes, that's why school and colleges, eight hours, six hours. Be engaged always in reading Srimad Bhagavatam, discussing amongst yourself, then you will make progress. Uh, otherwise, if you take it as a law, Official routine work, you should take as routine work, but with consciousness that you have to learn something. Not simply attending the class, but to learn something. In this way, make your uh, life successful because after all, uh, everything is being done. Deva Chodhika, impelled by the Supreme Person. The Supreme Person is behind everything. So, in the association of devotees, if you read some of the Bhagavatam regularly, then your, our material contamination will be dissolved and our spiritual consciousness will come out and that will make our life success. Thank you very much.